Tuesday, November 17th on NBC. Skate Canada continues with the surprise of the event so far. Just 16 years of age from Tokyo, Japan, Yuka Nagai. A high school student who stars certainly on the rise and not many know a whole lot about here. She is in second place and a little less than seven and a half points off the lead of Ashley Wagner trying to do something extraordinary here. Seventh at the Junior World Championships last season. Just missed the podium at the Japanese Nationals. And what a great start for your senior debut, sitting in second place after the short program. This is a long free skate, four minutes, a lot can go wrong. She's opening up with a triple-triple. Kind of a pessimistic view of it. <laughs> it's true, though. Beautiful triple lutz, triple toe, great height, speed. Japan, very much like Russia in the ladies category, has a very deep field of talented skaters, not just in the senior ranks, but also in the junior, mainly coming down to Japan and Russia as the winners of those Junior Grand Prix series. Nuka's a new face among many. Leaning outside in a triple flip. mistake right there was going for a triple loop and only did a single you always want to pull in for those rotations lose a lot of points the base value drops dramatically and falling on a triple loop is certainly better than a completed single loop. but those pops you can't avoid it's just your body saying no right in the middle of the air Double toe, double loop. Triple Lutz looks to be a little bit close on the landing. Paulina Edmonds, by the way, 111.84 in the free skate outside of podium range. She anticipates her landings a little bit too much. It makes it heavy. I would say the best compliment you could get for a jump and even feel as a skater on a jump is that it feels easy and effortless and that you're just soaring and it's not labored. is a very pleasant skater, but there's something she still needs to learn about carriage and performance ability, and those are things that come over time for most people. It's not something that can really be taught. It comes from experience and something from within. She needs to be able to suck in this entire audience, even with mistakes, and make them stand at the end of the performance. But I'm pleasantly surprised by her performance today. She just, as a junior, coming out as a senior, sometimes it's hard. You're looking down, you're focusing so much on what you have to do next, and you're nervous because this is not something, this is not your normal stage. I feel that she looked quite relaxed and I can't wait to see what the future holds. More competition with Mawasada back in Japan. She's excited about the performance. She should be. Did a difficult triple-triple. 
skated well, didn't give up, had to fight for some of the landings, few mistakes there. Definitely a pleasant new face and a great strong jumping ability and technique and definitely a, a, a bright spark for Japanese lady skating. First of the guy, disappointing free skate, guys. Despite it being a season's best, she's got to do much more to compete at this level, especially on the presentation side. So 172.92 into second place overall is Elizabeth Tuktamusheva, who leads. And remember, Tuktamusheva was some 15 points plus behind Ashley Wagner after the short program.